The first product on our list is Audio Technica at 5040. A quick look under the hood of the Audio Technica at 5040 immediately reveals what makes this model special. It features a four panel condenser element that offers both a large diaphragm sound and a speedy transient response. This product is available on Amazon for $2,999, check out the link in the YouTube description below. The number 2 is AKG C414 XLE. With a total of 9 selectable polar patterns, the AKG C414 XLII is one of the most versatile out there. It's ideal for tracking everything from vocals to grand pianos, and many believe it does so just as well as, if not better than, its more costlier competitors. The price is around $949, check out the product link. There are 292 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.5 stars, a customer said. It was a struggle to determine just how much to spend on a mic for our startup podcast. Everyone says start small, you can always upgrade. Well, my friends, I don't want to always be upgrading. You spend more, in the long run, that way. There are other places to save money, but your voice is the podcast. I read reviews for weeks, you know what I found out, people that write these reviews get a commission if you buy the mic from their link. Which made my skeptical mind think, just how unbiased are they? So I went to several guitar. The next one is. Newman U87i. The Newman U87 AI has been used to record some of the most famous voices in music history, particularly rock vocalists. Its versatility also lends it well to applications as wide-ranging as orchestra recordings, film dialogue, and radio broadcasting. The price approximately $3,495. There are six reviews which average rating is 4.4 stars for this product, a customer said. I've used many different microphones over more than 40 years in professional recording studios. This is my favorite for vocals. It captures a clean, crystal clear sound, crisp, warm and airy, like no other, if you know how to use it. If you don't know how to use microphones, how to find their sweet spot, or can't hear it, don't spend more than 50 bucks on a mic and just scream into it. If you haven't fried your ears, or brain, if you can hear the difference between MP3 and WAV, then this is worth every penny. Another happy customer said. The go-to mic for more real studio engineers, vocal, piano, orchestral, you name it. If you can only have one microphone, this is a great choice. Well worth the cost to discerning professionals who have the ears and the talent to appreciate the sounds that can be brought to life. On the other hand, if you're the kind of person who can't hear the difference between a serious studio tool and a $50 three-pack of throwaway microphones, good for you. You can save a bundle and buy a lot of other crappy gear. The number 4. Audio Technica at 4050 Street. If your sound relies heavily on panning instruments or vocals to the left or right side of your monitors, you'll appreciate that the Audio Technica AT4050 Street allows you to select discrete mid side signals and send them directly to one half of the stereo mix. The price approximately $1,299. This product is rated with 5 stars from 1 customer reviews, a customer said. I've been doing field recording of orchestras and choirs for many years. This is my new go-to mic. Nicely detailed imaging. Although much larger than my Pearl MS8CL, the lower noise floor makes up for the size difference. The next one is Peluso 2247 La. The Peluso 2247 La is an exceptionally warm model that comes with everything from a rugged carrying case to a capable dedicated power supply. 
Every one of these is equipped with a vintage German tube that was manufactured between the 1940s and 1960s. This product is available on Amazon for $2,482. This product is rated with 4.5 stars from two customer reviews, a customer said. Not all microphones are created equal. But with attention to detail and commitment to quality and consistency, we can always get close. I bought this mic and the Peluso 22251. I love them both. Are you familiar with a U47? While I don't like calling a mic a clone, it's not hard to reveal that the character of the Peluso is groomed to resemble much of what the old U-47s have. I've put this mic up against an old Telefunken U-47 in perfect working order. While the Peluso was brighter and a bit more focused, it still has much of. Another happy customer said. Amazing. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.